All right, welcome back to Henry Brothers Access. It's uh, John here again. Um, we're gearing up for corn silage, and I thought I would take today to kind of show you uh, how this machine works. Uh, there's our uh, silage cutter here. And I'm in the process of changing out the knives. So last year we finished up uh, with uh, feeding a gathering chain through the chopper, and it destroyed my knives so right here would be the business end of the cutter and the cutter head and you can see it's got uh, all these knives on it here and uh, there's 40 of them and see it completely busted these two here <laughs> I had to pull them out but uh, you can see they're all chewed up from hitting that chain here's a new one I put in um, so, but yeah, this thing spins, spins a, I don't know how fast, really fast, and uh, these knives come across the stationary knife, which is this right here, and you might be able to see it back in here. Um, see, there's the knives, and here's the stationary knife, and they, they come across that like that and uh, act as a scissors and cut the si uh, corn plant into little bitty pieces so it's a dangerous machine and it takes a lot of horsepower to do it uh, once the silage uh, hits that shear bar I've been told that it comes past that shear bar at 150 miles an hour which then it will get thrown down there and that's off right now, but it'll go through this uh, kernel processor and all that corn will be forced uh, through these two rows or these two rollers here and everything will be crushed. So it's chopped into little pieces and then crushed, which it'll be augered through this machine to this blower and this fan will blow it up the spout which it's down now but it'll be sticking up high and it'll leave the spout at 300 miles an hour into a truck so that's pretty much the gist of the machine I do keep inoculant in this tank here uh, to help the fermenting process and the hose for it it'll be sprayed on right here as the corn enters the machine but uh, that's about it. They're really not a real uh, complicated machine. But they take a lot of abuse. You're putting uh, hundreds and hundreds of tons of material through it every year. We chop about 2,000 tons for ourselves and then a little bit of custom work. But... Uh, that's a lot of material to be processed and sent through this machine. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, also last year we uh, blew a head gasket the same day that happened. And uh, wound up having to put a different motor in it. So, uh, you can see here, uh, that was about a year long ordeal trying to figure out what to do with this, but we found a. Uh, remanufactured uh, motor and uh, that was going to be our best bet um, it's a used remanufactured motor and it was still a pretty a very expensive ordeal so um, if you don't know anything about corn silage it is uh, a very expensive <laughs> way to put up feed um, it makes a very good feed and per ton it's one of our cheaper feeds but the harvest itself is probably one of the most expensive uh, actions we take every year um, it would cost us somewhere around 36 maybe up to forty thousand dollars to have um, somebody come in and do ours to chop haul and bag it and we can do it ourselves for less, but it 
it takes a tremendous amount of our time. So I don't know, we're trying to figure out long term what we're going to do here. Uh, try to figure out if we can get out of this machine or uh, need to run it another year after this or whatever. But, uh, anyways, uh, I guess this will be it for this one. Um, there is the head there uh, for the corn for this chopper and uh, I hope you enjoyed and we'll, we'll uh, get some video up of when we actually get going so alright thank you bye